Hey guys, Ike Man here. Gonna play some Ziggurat. Uh, I've been playing quite a bit lately. I've got, uh, I think around six or seven hours according to Steam. It's all been easy mode so far. I just decided today, basically, that I, I would like to maybe try and record it. Uh, we're gonna be playing here as uh, Minzy the Shaman. I have not played as him yet. Uh, looks like he will have a battle cry. I'm assuming that's the same thing as the war cry. Uh, when you enter into a room, you regain a certain amount of health and uh, and mana as well, looks like. So we're going to try him out, see how this is. We are playing on easy. I'm going to continue to play on easy until I probably get everything unlocked. At least all the characters unlocked and beat them on easy. And then we will move on into normal. Okay, well, this room has alchemy using less mana, but guess what? I don't have a, an alchemy weapon. Alright. Been really enjoying the game. Probably my favorite. FPS roguelike, roguelike. I, I, I don't know what the pro, what the appropriate term is anymore. Probably my favorite game out of this particular genre, though. It just kind of came out of nowhere to me. Uh, I hadn't even heard of it. Uh, I know it was in early access and, and all that, and I, I didn't actually even know it was in early access just popped up on Steam and thought it looked neat. Got it for 15 well actually I, I got it on sale. It's originally priced $15. Uh, I, I got it on the opening week sale so it was a little cheaper for me. I would happily pay the full price for this game. I enjoy it a lot. Since we only have a spell so far, I guess, I, you know, we're, we're going to get Persistent. I, I like Persistent. Anything that makes drops stick around a little longer is a good thing, in my opinion. Some people will certainly disagree. And that's fine. Oh, I got burned. Oh, well. We have another card here. Haste. Nice. Speed is good. Firestorm Grenade, a uh, pretty good weapon, pretty good weapon, jump to avoid the larva. We've got our portal key now, that will allow us to fight the boss, assuming we ever find it. Don't ever run through the barrels like I just did there, that, oh, no, okay, no, uh, no, no, <laughs> Wow, I have never encountered that particular room before. That is a shame. That was a shame. It'd be quite horrible. To oh my God. Okay. Okay. Get get better. Get better. That's all I can say. Stop being bad. And let's just get better. So that is the boss. I don't want to fight the boss just yet. Uh, we've used up all of our spell mana right there. What? You want, mate? You, you want? Wait, how am I supposed to get to the other side? Oh. By not being an idiot, that's, that's how I'm supposed to get to the other side. <sighs> Remember, I never claimed to be good at the game. Kill the slime. Oh, that's a rare, fairly large mandrake there that was charging my face. Alright, and here we go. 
doesn't seem to be some anything too useful here. Stop that. Level three. I guess we'll go with Talented Alchemist. Not a huge fan of Curse. Slow and steady wins the race. Make sure we've not missed anything. Doesn't look like we have. And we shall fight the boss. It's the King Blob. Cool, I guess. Why are you doing this? No, no. Throw bombs, grenades, whatever. Right here. Collect all of the spell mana. And there is floor one complete. A few carrots were harmed in this game. That's good. The carrots deserve to die. Ah, the magma rifle, yes. I shall take this over the grenade. I am a fan of the magma rifle. No, Mr. Mandrake. No, why are you so fast? I know you're a champion in me. There. Easy mode is, uh, in fact, quite easy. The fact that I ran headfirst into that trap room on the first floor and managed to get below half health, and now I'm already back to full kind of demonstrates that. I did venture into normal once and made it to the third floor, but this literally was like the first time I played the game. Forgot to spin an upgrade. Uh, we will take Druid. Not a huge fan of haste. I, I don't mind having a couple. At that, after that, though, it seems to get a little too fast for my liking. I'm disappointed that you were able to hit me there, bro. Why are you not dead? Die quick. Okay. Collect all of the XP's. All of the XP's. I probably need to start using my alchemy weapon on such easy enemies. How did you not die? Alrighty. Queen of Madness. Ancient legends speak of a beautiful wraith that haunts the dark chambers of the Ziggurat tormenting the unfortunate wanderers in her path. Her ability to both amaze and deceive has pushed many travelers to a deadly fate. Most skeptics claim that it's merely a hallucination created by a tired and strained mind that has surpassed its very own sanity. Whatever truth lurks in all of this, you should try not to meet her along the way. Seems reasonable. Ah, mana steel. Interesting. I believe that I shall... Use this man of steel. Getting mana back from XP seems like something that I'm going to do. I'm definitely not getting a whole lot back. But that's kind of to be expected, I suppose. Let's go back this way. 
we shall head over to the east. And then to the north. Spells. Percent less mana usage. Nice. It's a new enemy that they added to the update. Floating eye thing. I can't remember what it's called. I, I'm still sort of remembering the names of enemies. It doesn't matter what it's called. Ow. Because it's dead. Hey, stop doing that. Stop it. No blue mana to pick up. There is our key. And let's go to the south here. This seems like a game that you could probably speed run if you... Well, I don't know about speed run, but you could blast through and uh, just head straight for the boss once you got the portal key. I like to, to roam around. I don't have a staff to use, that's unfortunate. I like to go around and get XP. I, I really like the way that the levels are done in this game. And it doesn't seem like, at, at least on this difficulty, maybe it changes um, on the later difficulties, but at least on easy, it doesn't seem like levels are something that are absolutely necessary. Uh, I, I've, I've never been into a fight where I thought, gee, if I just spent you know, just a little bit more time leveling, I would have came out of that just fine. Uh, I've, I've never been in that situation. But at the same time, the perks actually feel uh, meaningful. Uh, and again, there's never an instance where I just don't look forward to leveling up. It's always something nice. It's not just a, a flat stat increase or something like that. So, yeah, I, I like the way that the level is working. And again, all this is based on the difficulty. And it's all absolutely subject to change. Based on harder difficulties, levels may become extremely important. And then again, you may end up having to skip levels on harder, harder difficulty. Uh, in an effort to, to skip the room to make do damage. I don't know. Speaking of levels, we got another one. Traitor is awesome. And it looks like we have explored everything. It's time to go find our boss. Let's see what boss is here. Master Shaman Poloco, huh? Alright. Master Shaman summoning those mandrakes. That's offensive, sir. Okay. Hang the rifle. Really good weapon. Probably one of my favorite alchemy weapons that I've encountered so far. Although it looks more like a pistol than a rocket. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not sure about that. We have full mana. Probably full health or close to it. We're doing well. If I could get a staff, I would be so happy. Please give me a staff. Floor three. Oh, a staff. It's the servant staff. Not my favorite staff. I like the twilight staff myself. But servant serpent staff is mine. As you can see, and probably guess, it, it poisons enemies. Poison seems to be fairly effective. 
Not extremely so, but... That wasn't... That I hit you. I am... I am... Please die, sir. Please die, sir. Thank you. like the atmosphere of the game. Each level seems to be a little bit different in how it looks and how it's portrayed. I really like it. I wish I were dead. Of course the game is randomly generated. That should be immediately obvious to anyone level design you know what what can you say you can't design good levels when it's all randomly generated uh, not to say that it's horrible or anything like that it's just typical of randomly generated levels but the atmosphere of the game wow uh, it's, uh, very impressive I, I don't know what else to say about it really really like the feel of the game I mean, it, it looks good. It looks good. Feels good. I enjoy the movement in the game. I enjoy the weapons for the most part. If I had to critique uh, something about the weapons, it would be the alt fire. I, I've never been surprised by a weapon's alt fire. It, it seems to always be shoot more often or shoot more projectiles that that seems to be it it works well for some weapons the starting wand typically has a shotgun effect for its alt fire i think that works really well the serpent staff gives you a much faster rate of much faster rate of fire but at the cost of accuracy Again, I'm fine with that. I think it works really well. Um, what I would like to see, though, is something like the grenade. Rather than just lobbing out two grenades, why not be able to lob out uh, some grenades that bounce? Viper f No. No, I shall stick with the frozen soul. Viper fangs are bolts, again, that poison. Or he got a poison weapon. Don't want another one. But I'd like to see some some variation in the all fire. Uh, there's a uh, fire bomb that, that you get. I would love for that to be able to trap and right click and set down a trap as you're running. That's either proximity based or time based. Something to that effect. I think it would. Uh, I think the game would benefit from it. Maybe there's a reason why uh, the designers chose not to go that route with weapons. I, I don't know. Maybe it's been impressed on more and stuff like that. It could be just simply not in their design philosophy. I understand that. It could be beyond their capability as of right now. I don't know. These designers, I, I, I don't know if they've got any real experience before. If they don't have prior experience, though, this is a fantastic starting game. Right. But they may have tons of experience, I don't know. Obelisks. These will continually spawn enemies. Obviously, we want to take them out. I guess I could have used that and try and unlock the other character by killing 5,000 enemies. Don't really kill them to do that though. Really like Frozen Soul. I like the ability to 
freeze enemy. Seems very strong. Spend our upgrade. Let's get magic missile. I don't think we need any more life on easy. I've never ran into a into a situation on easy where I was actually concerned that I would die. Of course, having said that, of course I will die on this video. It's okay, if I do, I just want to upload it. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, we got just love it again. Let's definitely go with spell collector. My mana pool is quite low. It's quite low for everything. But I like Frozen Soul. I anticipate that I'll be using it quite often. It's obviously the champion that has more health than normal. if it went invisible or if I just completely uh, was oblivious to its movements. I, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna say that it went invisible though because it makes me feel better. Alright, so we know where the boss room is but we do not have a key. This is a trap room. That is not a key. No, no. Let's, let's try and just find the now. Find the key. Let's go fight the boss. I'm just gonna kinda speed through this just a little bit. It may come back to bite me. That's fine though. There is the prime golem. As you can see, the outfire for the rifle here is just shooting four. I was going to shoot there and uh, ran out of mana. Spend our level again. Let's get Warlock, especially since we have Traitor. Nah, maybe that's actually a reason not to get Warlock. I don't know. Challenge the Ziggurat nine times. That's probably about right. What is this? Anguish Cannon. I have not. What is the difference between the alt fire and the regular fire? I'm not sure. Altars. It's the first one we've seen in this run, I believe. Let's let's go ahead and offer up some stats. Man. Max health is increased. Wonderful. That's probably the best reward I've ever gotten for using an altar. If I'm to be honest. Usually, usually, the altars end quite badly for me. Found our key right off the bat. Nice. Very good. Guess we can try out this weapon right here. Well, it seems quite powerful. Even if I ran out of mana. And all these champion enemies. I must ask you to refrain from being champion. I'm aware that the room dictates that you must be champion, but I must ask you to refrain. Wow, I can't get that. 
That is unfortunate. Hey! What's up? English cannon seems quite strong. Ah, oh, it looks like the alt fire for the English cannon actually stopped. Again, it seems quite strong. Level the game. You are a nerd. the damage you inflict. I don't think I want that. I don't think I want that at all. I'm all about those beeps. Right. We have tons of health. I don't see any reason to diminish our damage just to take less damage. Hoping this room would branch off into another one. It's unfortunate that it didn't. Oh, that was. I don't know why I do that. I think eventually I would learn. Another level. Levels seem ridiculously easy to come by. Uh, let's get one more in haste. Still no boss room though. I fully expect the boss room to be the very last place it could be. I'll explore everywhere and then I'll find what I be wrong though. I would love to be wrong. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I Careful carrots. And this room is uh, another dead end. Whoa, okay. That was a close one. Alright, let's go to the right here. Yeah, nah, I, I disagree, game. I disagree. I jumped in time and you know it. I jumped in time. That weird bird thing. Anguish cannon. It seems, it seems pretty strong. All of them XP. Nope. Why are you 
still alive. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Awesome, no. Boss room? Yes, okay. Bastion the High Priest. Okay. I'm not sure that this is the best weapon to be killing Bastion the High Priest with. Purple homing ball of death. Or just blow them up with my own spell. Taking a lot of damage here, but I should not be taking. And there he is. He's down. Dropped a lot of health. A lot of XP. Really? Really? We can get another one? I guess we might as well. I'm assuming it stacks. I believe this will put us on the final floor. Is that correct? Yes. Final floor. Porcupine bomb. Not very interested. Again, it's another weapon that would poison enemies. <coughs> Excuse me. Last thing I need is another poison weapon. Balls of electricity. Put an eye out these things, man. Hey. good. There's two ways to go there. I'm gonna check all of our other rooms real quick. Just on the off chance that the boss happens to be right here. Highly unlikely. And let's actually, let's spend some mana. Mana, yes. Sure. Reduced alchemy mana usage. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Oh, the boss room is right here. Okay then. Perpetua Sentine. Weapon. Seems like it's more suited for crowd control. Stop it. Stop it with the flaming ball purple bear. Close. 
The Examiner, after witnessing with pride your mastery of the arcane ways, is ready to certify your worth to the other... I can't read it fast enough. <sighs> I'm disappointed in myself. Time for silence has passed. The brothers lean over their seats, eager, eager to hear your words. You clear your throat with unease. Now's the time. You slowly unroll the scroll and prepare to read its contents to legitimize your entry into the inner circle of something. Ugh. What's this? I can't read this. Credits are rolling. Not sure what just happened. I just clicked out of the game. That's fine, though. Alrighty, guys. That's been Ziggurat. I fully anticipate to be playing this some more. I really, really enjoy the game. Do some mana usage for staves. So we've unlocked some stuff here. Spell mana pull slowly regenerates. Staff mana slowly regenerates. Limited invulnerability each time you pick up a knowledge gem. Well, that seems interesting. Alright, so we picked up some new unlocks. And uh, I, as I said, I am fairly certain I will be playing this some more. Really enjoy the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.